This video has been funded in part by the Guild via Patreon. Check out the links in the description or at the end of this video for more details. Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Chris Gildart and welcome to Warriors Orochi Zed, because I'm Canadian. Um, but this is another one of those games that I bought thanks to the funds that uh, were built by the Guild, my patrons who support this channel and help bring stuff like this to the channel. Um, yeah, I'll get into some stories and stuff and discussions, but we're gonna jump into Wei's story because Wei is my favorite uh, dynasty. And uh, let's take a look at our characters here. I think it's just Wei characters. And I have absolutely no problem with that. And uh, let's uh, get them all on their secondary costume because I like variety. I ain't no default man. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Um, that's weapons. Uh, oh, that's already all selected. I have no idea what these all are. Uh, if I had the English up in front of me, I could probably compare all of that. Uh, don't really need to, like, go into, um, leveling up. But you know what, just so that I'm a little extra strong, let's at least try to keep everybody, uh, around the same level. Oop. There we go. Alright. Well... And, uh, this is weapon fusing and stuff, um, this, yes, these are the skills I need to be looking out for. So I need to kill 60 people with Zhao Pi, I need to kill 50 people with, uh, Zhang Liao, and I need to kill three officers with, uh, Hua Sh uh, Xu Huang. I don't know why I was gonna call him Hua Xiong, but let's jump into the first stage. Uh, this is brand new. I literally just picked this up today. Uh, it came in the mail a while back, but I, I didn't get a chance to check the P.O. box until now. Um, so yeah. I'm just gonna talk over this because it's all gonna be in Japanese. But, um, essentially, uh, what was, what was I going to say beforehand? I can't even remember now. So I was talking about the guild, you know, supporting the channel, uh, bringing this... I, I don't know. Maybe maybe what I was going to say was that, you know, um, the main reason why I'm replacing One Piece Pirate Warriors 3 with this, because, you know, I was getting hyped for One Piece Pirate Warriors 4, and I still am, um, it's just, A, all we've had is the announcement, and nothing much else uh, unless you know Bandai Namco has announced something because I don't really follow them a whole lot uh, I probably should they do uh, put out some pretty decent games but uh, y you know I want to bring these games that uh, the guild has helped fun uh, so like there's been four games so far uh, the Pachinko Samurai Warriors game, which I still need to re-record. Uh, Dynasty Warriors 3 and an uh, extra copy of Dynasty Warriors 4. Because, you know, my other one kind of crapped out. But! I, I seriously have l lost my train of thought. What, what was I going to say beforehand? I don't remember. But! Uh, we're gonna skip this, because that's just text. Um, yeah. Essentially, one of the big things I want to do with this, uh, Let's Play is play through Wei's story entirely, if I can. I don't know. I don't know if I have to beat all of the Warriors Rochi 1 content before I move on to any Warriors Rochi 2 content, but, uh, in this game... Just this version, all of the... Oh man, this is weird with the different colors. But, uh... Oh, I have a burp coming. Oh, excuse me. But all of the Dynasty Warriors characters have their Dynasty Warriors 6 costumes. 
which I think is really cool. I'd like to see them all uh, using their Dynasty Warriors 5 move sets and weapons uh, in their Dynasty Warriors 6 outfits. I think that would be awesome. So, you know, I'm I'm coming in here with the intention of I'm going to get or do my best to get all of the Dynasty Warriors 6 costumes for the Wei characters. Uh, so we're going to jump off of our horse because we don't need no horse. We're not horsing around with this shit. Oh, excuse me. It's also pretty late. Um, had a slightly busy day of just not feeling well. Uh, so... Uh, I'm feeling a little bit better, jumping back in, uh, I'm recording all of my Let's Plays for the week, today, just like usual, but I'm starting off with Warriors Rochi Z. Uh, I, I feel like just calling it uh, Warriors Rochi 2, because like, it, it looks like the 360 game that I've been playing for ages, and I still have not beat it 100%. Oh, got that. Let's switch over to Zhang Liao to get the rest of the kills. Oh man. I, this is the worst thing about starting a new Warriors game is having, like, the smaller combo sets. I'm not used to it. Like, I'm never going to get used to starting a new Warriors game. But I still need to play through a lot of the stories in Dynasty Warriors 3. I haven't had a whole lot of time to play uh, and grind out for all the other games. Like, there's still a lot of stuff I have to do. Um, who, who was level 5? Cao Pi was level 5. Okay. So I'm cool to play as Zhang Liao a little bit. Kind of wish they gave the, the level uh, down below by their, um, their portrait, but... You know, beggars can't be choosers. At least we get the experience bar. Oh, gotta switch to Shu, Shu Huang? Yes, Shu Huang. God damn it. But uh, I've already unlocked uh, Zhao Yun's Dynasty Warrior 6 costume, and that was really cool. Uh, just because, like... I've played a little bit of the Warriors Rochi 2 PSP game, and I think in that one, um, only Sha Hodun, uh, Sun Sheng Sheng, and um, Zhao Yun had their Dynasty Warriors 6 costumes. I think that's how it worked out. I can't quite remember. Um, but, like, it, it's really cool to see it because, like, this is the kind of graphical style that Dynasty Warriors 6 had, but it was, like, it had some, uh, motion blurs and, uh, lens flare loom thing. Uh, but yeah, I... I'm one of those people that, even though Dynasty Warriors 6 is still one of my least favorite uh, Dynasty Warriors games. Uh, I, I think the design was on point. It it, it was very anime-y, and I think that was the right way to go, and like it led to a lot of really good uh, decisions as far as design goes for 7 and 8. I'm not the biggest fan of 9. Um... Like, a lot of the outfits are good. Not not gonna lie with that. They're pretty decent, but what we got with uh, 7 and 8 and 6 especially, I really enjoyed. And I think that if they went full-on fantasy instead of historical, I think then we'll see uh, Dynasty Warriors that we deserve, if I can put it that way. Um... Yeah, and it's just a personal opinion, you know, like, that's just how I feel about Dynasty Warriors as a whole, is that it's more fun when they don't care about the history. 
and they just want to make their own game. That's when I find it the most fun. Um, I don't know about you guys. You guys can let me know down in the comments below. But, yeah. I'm just rambling on. I'm excited to be playing this. Uh, I've been wanting to play some more Warriors Rochi for the channel. Um, was thinking about starting up... Uh, or restarting, I should say, my file for uh, Warriors Orochi 1. I might save that for uh, <clears throat> Musou May 2020 because the theme for that is uh, Warriors Orochi. Just because, you know, I feel like I can do it. It's. I still don't know what type of scripted content I'm gonna have because, as I said, like, I've tried and tried multiple times to write, uh, reviews for these games, but it's just, like, I don't know. I feel like they, they're too similar to all of the games that I've already written reviews for, and, yeah, I don't know. It's just... How I feel, guys. Also, just noticed this, and uh, I was thinking about this uh, a little while ago, but am I the only one who finds it super satisfying when you're playing as Wei versus Wu? Because, like, Wei is blue. Your allies on the map are blue. Their health is blue. Uh, Wu is red. Enemies on the map are red. Their health bars are red. It just feels satisfying. I am I the only one? I feel like if they had their health bars in like the colors of the uh, enemies on the map and allies and everything match the color of... Uh, the faction that you're playing as and against, I don't know, it's just, it, it feels satisfying. Like, it makes my brain feel good. I can't be the only person who feels that way. Oh, excuse me. Probably should have gotten a coffee, but at the same time, even though I love myself, my coffee. Uh, when you're not feeling good, it's not the right thing to have. Definitely not. Uh, it, it can do some serious shit to you. Uh, and if you have too much coffee and not enough water to, like, even it out, oh, that's, that's not good stuff, guys. It's... It, uh, it really, <laughs> it, it gives me a, a headache if I don't drink it, but then it also gives me a headache. Oh, shit, um, I was just gonna check for levels, but I need to switch to Shu Huang to get this officer kill, and then I need to get one more officer kill. Oh my god. Chris, focus, come on. Uh, let's switch over to Tsao P because uh, I want to keep these levels even. I want to try to get these, uh, all, all of these guys up to that proficiency 20 is what it is to unlock the fourth costume. So we're going to also get their Dynasty Warriors 3 costumes and for Tsao P we're going to get that uh, altered Dynasty Warriors 5 costume. All of those costumes are uh, outfits that I personally really enjoy. Now, I don't know as well. I'm going to mention it now. I don't know if this looks better than the 360 version. Like, this is also going through component cables. I'm going to put that out there as well. It's going through the uh, Elgato component. Because... Uh, PS3 has these, this weird coding that, like, recording, uh, devices cannot read. 
something like that and that's why like it has to be output this way because I've tried to you know plug this in through composite or component and neither of them work HDMI definitely does not work this is the only way to record PS3 footage um, luckily it's not like PS2 whereas like or any other uh, sort of component like it, it feels like whenever there's um, whenever you're recording something that the Elgato isn't pre-programmed to record it takes forever to render so that's why it takes me forever to render switch footage why it takes me forever to render um, Xbox original PS2 etc and why I play a lot of modern games on the channel just because that's the way things have worked out like I don't know I don't know how to put it I just I don't like waiting around for my videos to get finished rendering after recording and then yeah but of course I'm still going to be playing the classic warriors games um, maybe someday in the future the Thursday slot will have uh, a retro game um, maybe one of the newer titles I bring to the channel for the Monday or Tuesday slot will end up being uh, a switch title like I'm not gonna hold myself back but if I have the choice this is uh, this is how it's going to be um, okay. what else do we have to do um, what what's Salpi's levels he's still level five six six okay There's no officers up here, is there? And the other thing is, uh, I'm not going to be grinding these characters off screen or anything. Uh, so, you know, I'm just going to be putting whatever um, experience I get from this stage to these characters. And then when I'm playing this in my own time because I want to get those costumes you know I'm not gonna be playing as these characters I'm not gonna try to level them up or anything uh, I I want to give you guys a somewhat genuine uh, playthrough of this game did we get the uh... no we still need that one officer for Xu Huang I don't think we're going to get an officer until we get down into the corner, but we also want to get experience. We want to get the proficiency going. Um, I actually really like uh, Cao Pi's uh, Dynasty Warrior 6 outfit. Uh, actually, all of these characters I'm playing as here, I like their Dynasty Warrior 6 outfit. And I'm going to be playing as these three characters. Uh, I'm going to try to keep them as evenly leveled. Uh, how are we doing for... Uh, you are going to get a proficiency up soon, uh, though they call it an attack level. There, attacker level. So now let's switch over to Shu Hong. But we want to do our best to get a high kill count, uh, just because that's like the more you kill, the higher your proficiency is going to be. That's how it literally works. But we also want to level them up, uh, get them nice and strong. What I might end up doing, actually, if I'm going to be honest, I might just uh, level them up to as high as it needs to go so that they get their full combo set, and then we'll just leave them as they are. Because I feel like if you're playing as the same character throughout the entire story, you shouldn't have to throw a bunch of experience into them we'll see though uh, it's been a while since I've played the first Warriors Orochi 
So I don't quite remember how hard the stages get. I know the second stage of Shu, uh, I kind of ran away from Yua Ying and she died. And she was like one of the important characters, so... Uh, whoopsie. But... Yeah, for the most part, I haven't had any troubles. Did I get the uh, level up? The per No, not yet. And how's Sao Pi doing? He's about halfway. And I don't think in this one, uh, the yellow is against us. I'm pretty sure the yellow is with us. But I, I'm... Actually, now that I think about it, I think in most stages, the yellow is allies. Which doesn't make sense to me. I feel like they should be just blue. Why Why make it so that, like, there's a yellow team that isn't, you know, fighting against both sides? There we go. Let's switch back to Tao P for now. Oh, it feels good to be playing this game, guys. Like, uh, I've been wanting to bring more Warriors Rochi 2 to the channel. Um, because I still have all of the dream mode uh, stages to do in Chaos. I uh, still have to unlock that final stage and Orochi X. Like, there's still, like, characters that I need to get proficiency up. Yeah, there's a lot that I have left to do in that game. And maybe I'll bring it to the channel sometime. Maybe we'll just hold off. I don't know. It, it all depends on, you know, how I'm feeling and that, what you guys want, because, you know, I'm gonna keep doing what makes me feel good and try to take what uh, you guys say. Like, honestly, if you guys, if I post, like, two or three episodes of this and all I see is bring back One Piece Pirate Warriors 3, that's what I'll do. But, uh... You know, I just, I really want to play this game. <laughs> oh, shit. We need to switch to Shu Huang. He needs to get a kill. An officer kill. <coughs> Excuse me. And there we go. Ability. Uh, and now we need to be Tao Ki. Okay. We, we're good to keep going the way this is going. Seven, six, seven. Oh, Tsao P's almost at two. And we've been spending a lot of time playing this one stage as well. Usually, um, my Let's Plays are pretty short, but since this is uh, kind of a special... Ooh! A thousand kills, I'm gonna take that, that that's what that's about. Um, but yeah, I've only also got like a couple of uh, trophies because, um, oh, there we go, there's that. Uh, let's switch over to you. But, you're also gonna get some of that. I don't know how much though, because I'm gonna be playing this a little bit on my own. Um, I also forgot, apparently, uh, to change the auto-renew on my PlayStation Plus. I thought I turned it off, but apparently I didn't. Uh, I decided, you know what, I'm not going to try to, like, look into the situation. I'm gonna keep the extra year of PlayStation Plus and maybe play some online games that are PlayStation exclusive that I haven't played a whole lot of. Uh, stuff like um, Dissidia, stuff like Sunrun Kagura Peach Beach Splash. Like, I have not played almost any of either of those games. And 
Like, they are a mostly online. Uh, like, that's the style of game that they are. And I really want to get to know at least Dissidia. Because, you know, it's made by Koei. I used to love the PSP game. Um, like, when I saw that uh, there was an arcade game being made, I was like, oh, I, I need to play it so bad. Uh, but, yeah. Maybe I'll bring some Dissidia to the channel. What do you guys think? Do you guys want to see some Dissidia? I've also been tempted to buy, like, the season pass and all the characters and everything for Dissidia, but, like, I don't know. Uh, still have yet to play it enough to decide if I enjoy it. Same with Peach Beach Splash. Like, uh, apparently there are Koei Tecmo characters in that. Um, like, Dead or Alive characters. And Neptune. I fucking love Hyper Dimension Neptunia. And that's another game I need to get, is the Super Dimension Neptunia RPG thing. I, I just need to play more of those games. I love the, the scripts, the comedy, like, everything about it is perfect, in my opinion. Like, the writing in it is. Uh, the games aren't absolutely perfect, but... Like, what they do, they do really well. At least, like, especially with, like, the Rebirth series. Um, playing those games on the Vita, that was, like, one of the big reasons why I played a hell of a lot of Vita games. I don't think so, Huang Guy. Yeah. That's exactly what I wanted to do. It's too bad uh, Jung Liao didn't have full Muso, because that would also be cool. We're almost done of this stage. We've got nine minutes left. Holy shit. There we go. It is done. Let's, uh... Oh, I was gonna try to put Chu Huang in the center, but... Oh, well. So that was fun. Uh... Yeah. Oh, more is Rochi Zed. It's on the channel. So... Oh, we unlocked, uh... Shu Shu. And all those abilities, all these weapons that I don't understand any of the stats, so I'm not going to care. Uh, unlocked a couple of stages, and we're going to save. So anyways, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe for more, because there's videos every Monday through Friday. Uh, today is Warriors Wednesday, which happens every week, so stay tuned for more. Uh, hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever these uploads happen and whenever the extra uploads that sometimes happen, happen. <laughs> uh, if you'd like to help support the channel even further than that, you can join the guild via Patreon like these awesome people that you're seeing on screen right now. You can join them at the end of every single video for just a dollar a month. And there's other rewards and other tiers as well, so check out the links on screen and I will see you all down in the comments.